Brainy Dose presents How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. Worry is a natural emotion. Whether it's health, a job, or a relationship, everyone has something that stresses them out and keeps them awake at night. And while worrying can be a productive way to prepare for the future, it can also take over your life and hold you back from truly living. Just think about it. How many times has worrying about something made it any better? Worrying will not change the outcome of a situation. In fact, it can make a problem seem much, much bigger. And while you can't always stop bad things from happening, you can take steps to reduce worry. Here are some tips that can help you worry less and live more. Number one, put things in perspective. Worrying is often a result of taking something out of context and blowing it up in your mind to be more than it actually is. So take a moment to objectively analyze the situation. Look at the facts and weigh them against how things could turn out. Is it really a big deal or just an inconvenience? Is it worth your time? Your worries and anxieties are only as powerful as you give them permission to be. You can challenge your worries and anxieties by taking them apart, examining their source, and asking yourself if they're rational or not. Number two, focus on solutions rather than the problems. The next time you find yourself worrying, instead of dwelling on the problem or feeling like you have to solve it immediately, turn your focus toward possible solutions. If a friend was in your situation and asked for advice, what would you tell them to do? If you can't come up with any good solutions right away, that's okay. Breaking down problems into smaller parts is often easier than trying to tackle them all at once. Take each part of a problem one at a time and think about how they might be solved individually before combining them together into a complete solution. Number three, keep your mind busy with activities you enjoy. Worrying wastes time, energy, and emotional resources that could be better used on something else. How much time do you spend worrying? What would happen if you spent that same amount of time doing something productive or self-nurturing instead? You can keep your mind busy with activities you enjoy. Maybe it's playing an instrument, cooking, writing, going for a walk in nature, or taking care of animals, or maybe it's something else entirely. The point is, these activities are meaningful and fulfilling because they connect you with something deeper than yourself. And when we're connected with something meaningful, our minds tend not to wander toward worry or anxiety. Number four, focus on the present moment. Remain in the present moment and do your best to avoid reading too much into events and situations that have yet to unfold. It's easy to jump to conclusions based on limited information, but this can cause your mind to run away with itself at a rapid pace without any regard for whether or not your ideas are correct. By focusing on what is happening right now, you are able to see events for exactly what they are and not allow them to be distorted with worries about what might happen in the future or with regrets for things that have happened in the past. Number five, confront your fear and act anyway. The next time you find yourself worrying, take a moment to evaluate your emotional response to the situation. Most likely, things aren't nearly as bad as you think they are. You may be imagining all kinds of terrible outcomes that could happen if things don't go your way. However, these thoughts are just that, thoughts. The funny thing about our emotional response to fear is that it far outweighs the actual threat itself. The more afraid we are of something, the more likely we are to avoid doing anything about it and therefore remain stuck. While it's okay to allow yourself to feel fear, the key is to not let it stop you from taking action. Once you master the art of acting in spite of your fear, you'll be able to conquer any obstacle, no matter how big. Number six, surround yourself with positive people. Relationships are important, and the people in your life help shape who you are and how you feel. So it's good to have a support system that makes you happy and healthy. When we are around people who encourage us, we feel more confident and optimistic about our lives. Conversely, when we surround ourselves with negative people, our lives suffer. It's important to be able to be yourself around others without worrying about how they might respond or whether they'll accept your choices. Number seven, squash envy. Sometimes you may see someone who appears to have it all and be envious of their success, but step back and remember that everyone has their own struggles and challenges. You might have a different set of circumstances and be in a different place on your journey. 
Embrace your unique challenges and opportunities and get comfortable with who you are. The grass isn't always greener on the other side of the fence. Number 8. Don't take yourself so seriously. It's easy to forget that we are all human and that we make mistakes. When you mess up or say something dumb, it doesn't mean that you're a terrible person. It just means that you messed up or said something dumb. It can be so easy to get caught up in your own head and take everything you do or say seriously. But it's important not to be overly critical of yourself because sometimes things just happen. When things don't go as planned, remind yourself that this isn't the end of the world. If something doesn't work out today, then try again tomorrow. Number 9. Let go of perfectionism. You may be familiar with the concept of perfectionism. It's a way of thinking that makes you feel like you have to do things perfectly. And if they're not absolutely perfect, they're not worth doing at all. When we add this kind of pressure to our lives and we feel like everything has to be done right or else it's pointless, we put unnecessary stress on ourselves and we limit what we can accomplish. Let go of the idea that you have to be good at everything. Focus instead on being productive. Do what you can and let go of the rest. Number 10. Learn how to manage your time more effectively. One of the best ways to get rid of worries and start living is to learn how to manage your time better. This will help you make more time for yourself and reduce stress. Start by saying no. It can be difficult, but it's necessary when you have too many commitments. You also need to prioritize what matters most. This can mean spending more time on tasks that give you a sense of purpose or doing things for fun, not just because they're expected. Number 11. Accept that you cannot control everything. Acceptance is a key component of emotional intelligence and it's important for your happiness too. You can't control everything in life. Some things are out of your hands. Being able to accept this can help keep worry from consuming you. If you're unable to accept something, it's likely because you believe that if only things were different somehow, then life would be better. This kind of thinking leads us straight into circular reasoning and just causes more stress. By accepting what is, we give ourselves permission not only to let go of our worries, but also to embrace uncertainty as an opportunity rather than an obstacle. Number 12. Practice gratitude. If you're not grateful for the good things in your life, then it's easy to start worrying about everything else. There are many ways to practice gratitude, but one of the most effective is by keeping a gratitude journal. It's a great way to remind yourself of what you have or what you've accomplished. In this journal, write down at least three things you are thankful for each day. You can do this either before you go to bed or first thing in the morning. The goal is to notice something every day that brings you joy and makes life worth living. Worrying does not rid tomorrow of its troubles, but rids today of its strengths. The good news is that worry is just a mental habit that can be overcome. You have the power within to create a happier life for yourself and live in a state of peace, joy, and gratitude. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.